Welcome to the Nerds Cantos, where we uh, <clears throat> we talk about stuff we really like, and we also talk about stuff that makes us want to rub our forehead on cheese grater. Um, yeah. Just me. Cheese oh, cheese grater. I slurred my cheese grater. I I appreciate you guys talking though. That's kind of cool. Well, today's a little bit of a different episode. Oh yeah. Not really. It's not that we've done this twice now. I think I think we've done this twice now. I think we started in twenty twenty one. Hold on. Hold on. I yeah. say like a <laughs> hold liar. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to YouTube. I'm fine with that. <laughs> because we can do this. Uh the Scrub Lords. The best of twenty twenty one. So far, three views, followed by <laughs> followed by the video titled Our Favorite Things from Twenty Twenty Two. Eight views. Hey, 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 look at that. We're okay. going up in the world there. We're moving going up. up. The world, We're moving up. Our most viewed one is Fire Punch, which I have under the Nerds Cantos. <laughs> this, with uh, 514. JoJo's Ooh. has 55. And Pun Pun has 59. So that's, that's pretty, neat. pretty solid. Uh, getting back to actually what we're doing. For the third for the third annual year of the Nerds Canto, so I suppose. God, that's an, I don't like saying that. I don't like it. I don't like, I don't like that. Uh, we're ranking the shit that came out this year. That's what we're doing. Oh, I thought it was like no. It's just shit that happened things. this year. I meant it's just the the best oh, okay, things okay. of twenty three. All of mine happened this year though. Cause I you know I know how to rank. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, most we'll f- of my lists, besides like one, that mm-hmm. uh, happened this year as well. You know what that one? So, before we before we get into that, do you guys have a a little a little bonus, a little worst of twenty three? Oh. You know, just one oh. or two quick things. Shit. Uh, gotta be, gotta be the FNAF movie. Okay. I don't hate it anymore. I've, I've, I've thought on it. I don't despise it like I did when I first watched it, but I just, I just still don't like it. That one, Mid. that one's up there, or down there rather. Um, but you know what I think's worse? What's worse? See today, a little trailer for Halo season two <laughs> dropped. Not real. <laughs> Not and real. that might be the worst thing of the year. I wouldn't know. I, I refuse to watch I it. it. I watched it. I fucking refuse <laughs> to even look at it. It's not good. By While the way, we're at it, throw the Fallout trailer up there, too. The yeah, trailer, fuck, I don't think it's that bad, Fallout. but it's not great. I mean, it looks look I think it looks okay. It looked over. I just don't um, like <laughs> By the way, we are filming this Saturday, December 2nd. So if anything does happen, you know, who knows? They could drop a Hades 2 trailer at the Game Awards or some crazy shit, you know? And I, that could be the greatest thing I've ever seen. But Oh, God. But, yeah, we're filming this one early so I can edit it and actually get it out in time. Because I think the 2022 one, I think, came out at the <laughs> end of January. I'm pretty sure because we filmed Stuff it, like, like we, I think we filmed it on the 31st or some shit. So, it was, you know, whatever. Um, Damn. My so I have two little things here. The first one is the delay of Dune Two. All right, life shattering. Okay, I died that day. Fucked up. I died that day. All right. As a film uh-huh. major, I'm not gonna get into it, but as a film major, Hollywood and those strikes killed me every day slowly. But my second one is a horror movie that just came out called Thanksgiving. Actually worse than the FNAF movie. That shit sucked. That's all I have to say about it. I'm not... I don't ever want to think about that movie again. Any horror movie that's based off of their holiday is like 50-50 chance to just absolutely blow ass. Oh, for yeah. sure. For sure. But that being said, let's... Uh, do we want to get to our... The good things this year, you know? No more. Yeah! Uh, who wants to start with their number 10? Their I'll start favorite. with mine. Uh, I turned 21 this year. Woo! That was a pretty tame one, honestly, Nolan. I expe- I expected crazier. I expected crazy. <laughs> I appreciate. I appreciate this starting off tame. Do we? What's your number uh, ten? My number ten. Um, I don't know. I still don't know about this one. I I picked Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I really liked it, but like. That was a good uh, movie, dog. That was a good. It movie. is a good movie. It's not bad at all. I just I haven't seen it I don't yet. know how I feel about it on the number ten spot, but I did really like it. Okay. 
So this is the this is the this is my pick that I think will not only blindside the viewers, but I think will blindside my two co-hosts here. So I uh, I saw this film like a week ago, half a week ago, called Napoleon. And that movie no. wasn't great. Now that movie, now hold on, that movie wasn't great. But what that movie did do is get me really interested in the uh, Napoleonic era of history. Uh, and for the viewers, I'm a film student and a history student. So I discovered this Napoleon podcast called The Age of Napoleon, where this really nerdy dude uh, talks about the Napoleonic era, but like it's Game of Thrones. And he's not doing that intentionally, but that's just kind of how he does it. Where, like, each episode is, like... Like, I'm only on episode, like, five. And he started in 2017. He's still making weekly or bi-weekly, I think, episodes now. Like, he put out one earlier, like, two days ago. Um, but I'm, all, I'm pretty early into it. But he's, like... Like, genuinely, he's explaining it like Game of Thrones. Where he's, like, okay, so before we get to Napoleon, we have to talk about Prussia and the houses of Prussia. And then it's, like, a whole two episodes about <laughs> the different, fam like, royal families of Prussia. And I was, like, this is just Game of Thrones. But I discovered because of this podcast that I really like this era of history. I think it's kind of cool. So I wanted to shout out The Age of Napoleon. It's on Spotify. It's free, you know, because I wouldn't pay for it. So that's cool. That's my number 10. Hell yeah. You should share that podcast. I'm link in the video description. essay. <laughs> link, link, link in the description, all right? Because that's a thing I can do technically. Um, do we want to get to our number nine? Yeah. All right, Nolan. Spider-Man movie. Okay, Across the Spider-Verse. Okay. Really good movie. Okay. okay. Part two is going to probably be like a top mean, five, though. You mean part three? He means part, part three. three. But part two My of bad. this movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I, think, you, I, think you can, I think you can watch Across without watching Into. I'll say that. I actually think you can probably. watch this without probably, watching yeah. Into. I think it does a but, decent enough job. Yeah, you can... Yeah, it's. No. I just see it as like a one, two, and two as two parts, yeah. and that doesn't bother that's me because I, I watched yeah. Attack on Titan. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. That's Stewie. What's your number nine? Uh, John Wick Chapter Four. Solid, solid. Good, movie. good ending to the franchise. Hope it stays that way. Wow, well, they made that hope spinoff it TV show. I think they're making another spinoff, and then they're like two more. They're making a lot more, so. I don't think it's the end of the John Wick franchise, unfortunately, but it should be. I think as long as they don't bring John back, like some people are saying, I'm that would be dumb. Be so yeah, if they bring John back somehow, I think I think that's I think that's a what fair an awful idea. What, <laughs> yeah, what that'd be pretty idea. pretty bad. Or watch him like have a son or something. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, good movie. Oh, really Solid good movie. end. Really good action. I love so the action. Good. Yeah, that shit goes hard. Uh, my number nine, similar with some really good action. I put a sorcery fight season two here because I didn't really know what else to put for my number nine, and I thought that was a nice, easy, huh. easy little pick. You know, it's been good. Yeah, it's good. That's been good. I don't have any. I don't have deeper words to say about sorcery fight. I just, I like I said, I was like, I need much. I need I mean, no, nine. No, there's a lot to say. I need to know. I, but... I feel like there's a lot to say about season two, unless you you can say about the manga. I mean, at the moment. Never mind. I mean, I respect the animators. I go. I could say that. Pay your animators, Mappa. Give them time to actually work on your projects. I think that's a fair thing to say. But I don't know. I just like. I just needed a nine. I had everything else, but I didn't have a nine, and I was like, "Well, I've liked this anime because we watch it every week, and it's fun." Mm-hmm. And the animation's really good, so that's there. Let's get let's go to number eight, Nolan. All right, uh, my number eight is John Wick Four. Nice. John Wick's <laughs> yep. not on my list, so I'm not gonna say John Wick. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First of all, in Minecraft, I can't respond to that the way you phrased that's not, it. That's, that's, that's a mis- that's a, they can still get you for that. We're now. gonna bleep that out. Uh, you guys, are gonna, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna hear a bleep, uh, and that's you. I will never get into that. Um, I'll actually edit this because I I can kind of stand my voice now. Um, 
All right, Nolan, do you have anything else? Do you have anything you want to add on John Wick, then? Uh, I like the ending a lot. Yeah, that's a good ending. Um, I think it's more than an okay ending, in my opinion. Like, the whole Kane and shit. Like, I, oh, mm-hmm. that had me tweaking in theaters. Mm-hmm. I saw that in Dolby. That might have to do with it being on number eight. Because um, any Dolby experience just makes, you know, Go that's hard. like a number up instantly. Goes hard. Julie, what's your number eight? This one might be a little wacky, but I put the amazing digital circus down for my number eight. <laughs> Interesting. I'm surprised it's so low. I mean, it's a pilot. There's, <laughs> It was a good hey, pilot. One episode can do a lot to me, all right? We know. We found out last night, Nolan. We found out when you bowled we'll your eyes. We'll get to that. Out. Okay. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, and you know, I didn't like the digital circus that much. I thought it was I okay. Just, I think you don't. I think you're too neurotypical for it. That's what <laughs> that I. That could be. Am I neurotypical? Because I don't think I'm that. Are you just gonna find a way to call Xander autistic for every? He called number? me not autistic. He just said I was the opposite of it. Um, I don't know. I. I mean, it was good. I. I. I respect. You putting it there, and I definitely respect the people working on it, but I feel like I need more to, to truly see if I give yeah, a shit or not. Yeah, I get you, man. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, do you, do you have anything else you want to add about it, Stewie? Um, the animation, was, it was really, uh, really, really good. Like, I, was, if you watch the behind the scenes stuff, they do some crazy, wacky shit some gmod fucking shit i love it yeah it was uh i will say that like the animation was good and the voice acting i thought was was good too i just yeah it was great um my number number eight so picture this guys close your eyes you know i'm okay close your eyes you're sitting you're sitting in a dolby theater or an imax theater and a trailer comes on screen it's Dune 2, okay? <laughs> it's the Dune 2 trailer. It may be the greatest thing you've ever seen in your adult life, okay? In your entire life. It's, that's, uh, you know, I also, I don't have anything else to add about Dune 2. I also added, picture this, okay? Close your eyes again. Picture this. All right. You're sitting in some film class. Okay, the teachers are droning on and on about the mise-en-scene and yada yada, right? And then you check your phone in the back of class. Immediately, you shoot out of your chair. You run into the bathroom, slap an ed- a headphone in, and the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes trailer <laughs> has come out. And you watch it in the bathroom with the lights off, okay? <laughs> Picture that! <laughs> <laughs> that's I got nothing out. That's my number eight. It's both of those trailers. One I do the Dune two trailer. I do think might just be the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. And then the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is just my favorite movie franchise getting a sequel. So that's really all that's there for. The trailer was still good though, but you know it's not on the Dune two level, but it's worth a mention. That's all I have to say for my number eight. So we can we can we can move on. All right. Number seven. My number seven is Baldur's Gate 3. Solid pick. Great big, pick. Big fan. Big fan. We're all playing our D- like characters we played in D&D. And it's fun as fuck. Um, we need to be- my friend Mikey's trying to coitus the damn mind flare. Not trying. He did. He did. He did. He forced us to see his wiener on screen. That was that horrid. Was he did. That, that was, was so up. bad. That was fucked up. You fucked up. witnessed that yourself, okay? Oh, yeah, I did you cut it. out of it? He wasn't <laughs> yeah, there. It was yeah. just me and you, you Nolan. It was just me and you. Yeah. yeah, we're playing but a multiplayer, so we haven't beaten it yet. Yeah, because we all got to, like, you know, be on at the same fucking time. It's just as bad as scheduling actual D&D. Hey, we're better at that. <laughs> I think we schedule D&D pretty solidly. Every Tuesday, unless something comes up, and then we do, like, a Wednesday or something. We do more D&D than we do Baldur's Gate is what I'm trying that's, to say. That's, that's true. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, Baldur's Gate's good. We need to beat it. Stewie, what about you? What's your uh, number seven? Uh, Sorcery Fight Season 2. Solid. Hell Solid. yeah. Do you have anything you want to say about it as an anime only, Stewie? Yeah, as an anime only that will be changing in the next 
like four episodes when they release. Yeah. Um, you know, pain, <laughs> agony, even. Yeah. <laughs> Believe. Yeah. Even. Oh god. On screen. <laughs> I'll put it on screen. I'll put live on screen. Live. That shit hurts, dude. Fire punch. Yeah. That shit's not. God. <laughs> no, Sorcery Fight Season 2. There's images on screen, so for those who don't know, I should have mentioned this earlier. For those who don't know what Sorcery Fight is, just, just look at the anime on screen and you'll discern what it actually is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the English title of said anime that we can't. It's sorcery fight. We're not allowed to say the other one. Pretty but, much. Uh, yeah. You got any? You got anything else you want to add to it, Stewie? Um, no, not really. I mean, okay. I feel like if we do talk about it, it'll probably be in, it's like own thing. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, we could definitely do a sorcery fight. Ends, fucking can't do yeah, When that ends, we could do one. Um, so my my number seven. Is uh is the Simple Plan concert I went to Simple Plan Sum Forty One and Offspring, you know I it was a it was a fun little concert, a lot of nostalgia here in Simple Plan. Hell yeah! Because I that was like my childhood band. I don't have anything else. Sum Forty One was kind of mid. The lead singer sounded like he was sick. I don't really give a shit about the Offspring. I only like like two songs, so we left halfway through that. Keep that so fucked Simple up. Simple Plan dude. was good though. Simple Plan I'm was keep good. Though. Right on it. Hey, hey, we don't own that. That's hey, one of their I can good say, ones. I can say, I can say uh, that. That's you can all. say it. You you can't sing it. You can say the words <laughs> in an order. <laughs> um, they played that immediately, which was weird. I, whatever. Pretty cool. Yeah. Now number six, gentlemen. What's uh, Nolan? What's your number six? Digital Circus, bro. Wow. Oh my okay. god, I have loved it so much. Um, I'm obsessed with it. Uh, I love Pomni. She's just like me. I also love Jax because he's a little goober. And I think if anyone's gonna get out, it's the man that swings. Um, I I, I just love quirky off-putting uncanny goofy scary shit that's all fair fair enough fair enough stewie what about you what's your number six guardians of the galaxy three peak i forgot about that fucking movie probably the last no, good MCU together, movie man. for a solid another <sighs> four years i don't know i gotta switch up my list here he's gotta Maybe he's gotta wrap and switch his list that's fair um, dude, Sorry, that's... Dream getting clapped. <laughs> Is that really on your list? <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Dream getting clapped, boy. <laughs> so let's give a little shout out. You know what? I think you're. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I was about say to say, it. Scott, I've watched too many podcasts. Oh, I was about to say, editor, play the clip. And then I realized I'm the fucking editor. So, editor, <laughs> play the clip. <laughs> We're back. Hey, play it. It's, you know, I have to put, I have to edit this now. I can't not edit this. Uh, <laughs> I'm just making more fucking work for myself. Oh, yeah. What do you want? What do you want to say about? Well, no one's editing his list. Stewie, talk about Guardians. Oh, it's edited. Okay. Uh, I mean, dude, the whole, the whole fucking story of Rocket, his like backstory and everything. I was crying. Amazing, amazing. Peak, peak cape shit storytelling, because the guy who wrote it uh, gave a shit, and wasn't some yeah. hack hired <laughs> <laughs> by Disney. <laughs> yeah, no. Guardians Three goes hard. I almost put it on my list, but I didn't, cause I there were some other things in there. But, um, no, I, I cried during the Rocket stuff, and then oh. I, I don't know did. Me and him, <laughs> he cried. And then I, I cried when it played, um, <laughs> Come and Get Your Love at the end. <laughs> or, or, I think that's the <laughs> song it plays. Yeah, that just got me, bro. You know, I, I, I remembered, I remembered a little, you know, Ratatouille meme, a little, like, 2014 me seeing the first movie and falling in love with that song, and then they end it with that. Yeah. I was like, damn, bro, shit hurts. That Dude, be... that seeing that movie with you, I still can't get over. Oh, never mind. That was Josie the Tiger and the Fish. Never mind. Oh, never what about, mind. What about Josie the Tiger? I went, the so we watched Josie the Tiger and the Fish, and I'm a bitch for like romance and oh. sad stuff. 
So I was crying the whole movie. And the credits were rolling. And we, <laughs> the three of us, and not, not Stewie. Uh, and to my right is this girl, and to her right is her boyfriend. And me and her are sobbing in the credits. And we look at each other and start crying together. And her fucking boyfriend, by, by the way, imagine like a fighting game cap and a shitty like leather jacket. <laughs> like in, like a, just a Redditor plays MK11 or something. Um... And he's just fucking pissed looking. And yeah, that's that's yeah. I see. I the only thing I remember about that movie, we saw it with a friend. I guess we'll un we will unname him. I remember it was me, the friend, and then you, Nolan. And I remember looking at our friend, and he shrugged, and I shrugged, and then we both moved out of our seat and saw you sobbing, and then we laughed at you while you were sobbing with that girl next to you. I know. Because we were like, eh, you know. But, um, oh. the fuck was that? That was Stewie. Was that your six, Stewie? Was that what that was? Yeah. Okay, uh, so my six, I guess, was the uh, Glory Hammer Alestorm concert that me and Nolan oh. went to. Just great, you know? Good, Good concert. I love myself some Glory Hammer Alestorm. I don't have much, I don't have anything to say. That Got a lot just, to say about that concert. It was a good concert. Uh, also, <laughs> a PSA for concert goers. Put some deodorant on and take a shower <laughs> before you get there. All right? Don't smell bad. Also, stop vaping. And I hate that shit. I hate going to concerts, and I hate people puffing <laughs> the biggest vape clouds in the world. Get out of here, man. That's all I have to say. Let's it's a little excessive. On. Let's move on to our number five. Uh, number five for me was the Glory Hammer concert. Nice. Yep. Um, that shit went so hard. Ailstorm went hard. I really liked the opener. Xander's ears don't work, so he couldn't no, even hear them. Luthara? Um, I think it was Luthara. yeah. They were, Luth- Luth- they were pretty, sh- pretty sick. I'm a bitch for girl power metal singers. They fuck it up all the time. Um and their stickers cool. It's a moose stickers. in like a jean jacket, um, with a six pack on his antlers, and he's just crushing them. It's so cool. I've got it on my PlayStation. Um, but yeah, that's that. Stewie, what's your number five? Across the Spider Verse. All right. Hell yeah. Very good Um. You know, not much to say about it because they're, it's not fully complete yet. They sequel baited. Very good movie though. Uh, I just I, do, I hope the next one comes out Anytime. in a manner that doesn't abuse their artists. You know, that's true. Respect your Shit. artists. Pay them. <laughs> oh God. Give them time to do the work, man. All right. So you you have anything else you wanna? say about that um no because i think we we have talked about it so, i don't think yeah. we've talked about it on this channel did we not i could have sworn we talked uh, about it. Nah, never no never mind no we talked about spider-man 2 from insomniac games which will come out before this episode so that's already out so go watch that if you're watching this uh <laughs> yeah i think uh, we'll see if i'm lazy or not uh my number five was the uh, Glory Hammer album Return to the Kingdom of Fife. I, I had to give a little shout out. There's a lot of albums that came out this year that I was happy with, but I you know, I had to bring it to Glory Hammer cuz Return to the Kingdom of Fife goes hard. All right, not a bad track on that album in my opinion. Agreed. Just it's great. But I don't have, I don't have much to say about that. So, Nolan, what's your number 4? Pluto anime. And I've only seen one episode. But um my favorite manga is 20th Century Boys. And, uh, well, as we know, Pluto is the guy. Same author. And we watched that first episode last night. And the North Number 2 section fucked me. Because uh, I'm a musician. And I've got a lot of musician emotion stuff. And that shit... Oh my god. And I'm a bit I'm a bitch for robots and sentience and like robot emotion. Um and that sh- show 
there's this scene where he uh where fucking the main character Geish goes to give uh this this poor poor robo wife her husband's memory chip um cuz you know he got clubbed um and you can it, it it focuses on her robo eyes a lot and this this girl looks like a robot and her eyes like dilate and stuff to all of her emotions and that's like all you can read from her and you're watching it and you just like oh my fucking god like what robos expressing emotion nutty anyways no plural is good i read i'm gonna cry more i feel uh, you definitely will cry in the future episodes of Pluto because we were supposed to do a book club on it, but then Nolan wanted to watch it, so we were like, "Well, let's all watch it the first episode together." But yeah, Pluto's great. That first anime very accurate, like to the dialogue was exactly the same. So, and it looked fucking amazing. It, it looked really good. Mm. Uh, Stewie, what do you think about Pluto? I mean. Yeah, it looked great. I'm more interested in Gashi's story. I did like the North Number 2 stuff, though. It was very, very emotional. Uh, great characterization on the robots. Yeah. Very short characterization. It's only like, you only get like 35 minutes with North Number 2. And then he dies. He does, he does. Um... But he, you know, he's the he's the building block for the case, you know. If you, so it, it it all it's all gonna pay back and make sense. But it goes hard. Pluto's great. I'm tearing up. We all need right, to we'll, move. We'll move. We on. need to move so to the what, next what number. Was that? We were on number four. This was that was <sighs> your number four. So Stewie's number four. All right. I may get a little bit of controversy. <laughs> okay. Then common rider. Went hard, okay. Very good. <coughs> I haven't seen it. Gave me Common Rider brain rot, and now I'm. It now did I'm give him Common Rider show. brain rot. I we I can confirm he has been infected with Common Rider. <laughs> so next next year, if you see a Common Rider W, our Common Rider. What, what Put that shit called? on your <laughs> own channel, dog. <laughs> Get out of here, <laughs> man. I'll watch it with you. I'd watch it. I'd make a video on it. <laughs> Just Bro! Alright, I'd the hater. seen the first few episodes. I've, of it's good. I like Kamen. I like Tokusatsu shit, but, you know, I didn't like Shin Kamen Rider. I can see why you don't like it. I'm in uh, the wrong. You already don't like Ano stuff. No, I hate Ano. Except for Shin Shin Godzilla, Godzilla, that's a case. That's a very special case. I can't stand no. it, though. Uh, I have, a, I have a mixed relationship with Ano, but I don't want to talk about Evangelion here. So, uh, moving on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. My number four is Final <laughs> Fantasy 16. Man, that game was good. That's my game of the year. Honestly, it's the only game, it's the only video game on this list. Because I find myself playing less video games as time goes on. I just read a lot now. But, uh, Final Fantasy 16 went hard, man. I was loving that game. I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. Might be my favorite. I don't know. Nine is still kind of up there, but... Somebody here, <clears throat> Nolan, still doesn't beat 16, so I can't really I go know, deep. it's fucking amazing. I still can't go deep into it, but it might have the best boss fights I've ever done in a video game. Uh, yeah, just ever. Uh, but we, we can go to our number three, so I don't spoil anything. Alright. Uh, my number three was Guardians, just because of how I love James Gunn. My favorite show is Peacemaker. You know, that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> it just it fucked me up and everything about it was amazing acting action looked great soundtrack was perfect like I knew every fucking song perfect even the fucking Miku song I cannot get over they put Miku That's in uh, he did this shit in Peacemaker when he put fucking band made all of a sudden and you're like what what, what, what? And I love him. I'm not over him opening with creep. Uh, <laughs> I'm a... Hey, say it, don't sing it. All right, speak it, don't sing it. I, I knew, forgot. I knew this would be a problem. This is the reason I didn't bring up Guardians Three. This is, this is one of the. I was like, I don't, he can't sing anything. I, I was hesitant to put Glory Hammer on here because, like, I can't have him sing anything. Um, no, Guardians goes hard. I remember Nolan when we walked out of the theater. 
you you looked at me and you were like, so what exactly does a director do? And then I had to explain it to you. And you were like, I think James Gunn is my favorite director. And I was like, nice. Good guy. Good good pick on favorite director. I don't know if you still believe that. I, ever, I do. I do. He's great. His Superman movie. Can't wait. What? Uh, yeah, he's, he's making Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot. Movies. I forgot he's DC. Yeah, yeah. I think about it every day, all right? <laughs> it's all I think. I love Superman, and I'm like, please make a good Superman movie with creep in it. I don't know. <laughs> be fucking funny. Uh, Stewie, what's your, what's your number three? Marvel Spider-Man 2. Okay. Okay. Now, you, if you go and listen to the Spider-Man video. It's an hour long. It, it's supposed to come out before this. It uh, should be. You would, you would know. I do have my problems with the game, specifically with the story. But I am a Spider-Man simp, and Insomniac knows how to write Spider-Man. So, very good. I won't say much about it here because, like I said, the video. We've just talked at that. length. <laughs> yeah, just go watch you. that. Just go watch that. <laughs> good game. Good game overall. <clears throat> my number three. This is a thing neither of you have uh, have experienced. And that's uh, that's Godzilla minus one. Ugh. This movie, this movie, this movie. Now, I will say, if for some reason, yeah, viewers here were to find my letterbox and find my ranking of twenty twenty three movies, it isn't at the top. It's number like six, I think. But it was it was just such an experience. Um, I think it's easily the best kaiju movie, and I'm I'm really just putting it here to to more rep it because my movies that go above it are like. Spider-Verse, John Wick, you know, like movies that don't need it. Whereas like this, I'm like, no, go watch this movie. Even if you're not a kaiju fan, I think this movie works really well because you actually give a shit about the human characters, which I think is the first time I've ever said that about a monster movie because they always all suck. No, I care. Genuinely, I saw this with a couple friends and all of us walked out and were like, they could have just made this movie without Godzilla, and it still would have been interesting to watch. Which is crazy. But also, Godzilla's in it, and that's cool as hell. And that's all I want to say, because I don't want to spoil it for anyone, or these two. So I'm Nolan... trying so hard not to fucking sing this song right now. Bro. Nolan, what's your number two? What's your number two, Nolan? <laughs> My number two is Sorcery Fight. Manga and anime. Holy fucking shit. It's crazy. Holy shit. Manga's crazy. Oh my god. We can't talk about it. Oh my god. I can't talk about it at all. But. Maybe you guys could do your own solo episode about it. But you're right. When you catch up, we could just. Yeah, because you're going to read it. And and you're not going to be able to stop. Yo, you, I read that shit. When When I did a reread before. This anime season came out. I reread the whole manga. Finished that shit in like two days. Could not Likewise, stop myself. Yeah, it was nuts. just going. And now yeah, when wait, Nolan wait, finishes wait. something in two days, that's good stuff. <laughs> but that oh, that anime is doing everything so good. that it should, given the circumstances. And it's nuts. Gotta hold myself. Anyway, back. I was about to start singing special. Gotta gotta hold myself back. Yeah, yeah. Still All right. Number two. Oh yeah, the fucking music. Fuck. Goddamn. My number two. <laughs> Armored Core Six. Ooh. Ace Combat Neck Game. I loved it. All right. Six I, two I, I one. Loved... Rusty. Yeah, it was a good game. I fucking love that game. I love zooming around and violating people with a double shotgun build. Um, Except in our writing. first one v one. Man, those yeah, ones yeah. Me. Those weren't good for me. Funnest. Anyways, fun game. it's a good game. I won the next two. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I won the next two. <laughs> you got lucky, all right? <laughs> you got lucky. Yeah, yeah, Beginner's yeah, luck. Uh, you all hear this yap? <laughs> I hear the yap. I hear the yap. You got oh, anything else, Do we? You got anything else you want to add to Armored Core? Um, I really hope they continue the franchise and it doesn't just vanish. Because FromSoft is, they, it looks money. like they wanted to do. No, that's what I'm saying. They made a lot of money, and they were trying new things. It seems because you know they brought this back. So I hope they make a seventh one, oh, or maybe God. just another mech game. I don't know. Fucking criminal! I don't think it got any game award nominations. 
I think it got like a one. It was like action game or something like that. Criminal, bro. Criminal. It is criminal. It so, should be up. Spider Man Two doesn't. Do, sorry, we talked about that on our video. I'm not gonna get into that. Yeah, get the fraud. Get okay, it. he's a fucking fraud. Um, yeah. Anything? Any closing remarks? Um, if you use pistols, I feel sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry you did that to yourself. <laughs> Damn. No, pistols weren't great, but um, my number two is one we've mentioned: Spider Verse. Across the Spider Verse, man. You know, there's only a few movies that come out every once in a while where I, I just gotta see them multiple times in theaters. You know, but Spider Verse <laughs> was one of those. I saw um, so I saw it opening day. I saw that shit in IMAX. And then, or sorry, no, I didn't see it in IMAX. I saw it in regular. And then I, I was coming home for the, or the, the the weekend after. So my parents were like, well, let's go see it together. And without telling them, before coming home, I went to my theater and saw it in IMAX. And then immediately saw it with them like two days later. Uh, because I had to see it. I didn't care. I just needed more of this movie. Every frame is like the greatest work of art i've ever seen and you know it's so much better than no way home and that's that's how i'll leave that so nolan what's your number one <clears throat> think i give a shit i don't give a shit oh, no. <laughs> my number one is dracula oh, flow no. one two three and four <sighs> Oh my God! I didn't see this. Flipping comic. bricks from Matsumus. <laughs> Before y'all were even a Type One civilization. Oh, Dracula flow God. goes hard. Um, <laughs> I, God, that's not what I expect. I don't know what I expected your number one to be, but it wasn't that. <laughs> it's good though. <laughs> it's funny. It was good. I'd be rewatching them every couple of days. I'll put on a Dracula flow while I'm like doing the dishes or something. Reach for my neck and I'll make you an example. I'll <laughs> <laughs> ask for some initiatives. I blew up their entire quadrant. Dracula flow floor four is good. That just came out like two days ago as of recording, I think. Yeah, I have to keep watching that one a couple of times to memorize some of the yeah. some of the bars in there. Gotta, there's some bars <laughs> in the four though. Um yeah. But st I think that's owned by an actual record company, so I don't know how how deep world. I don't know if I'm allowed to show any of that, but I mean, there'll be something on screen. <laughs> yeah, um, Stewie, what about you? What's your number one? This is the wild card I was telling you about, Xander. Okay. okay. Did not release this year, but I did read it this year, so I'm counting it. JoJo Steel Ball Run Part Seven. Peak. All right. Hell yeah. It is. It is. It is, it is <laughs> Go watch that video. Go watch our JoJo's video. It's like an hour long, and we talk a lot about JoJo's. We're talking a shit ton about JoJo's, and we flesh a lot of JoJo panels. There's a lot of panels in there. Eventually, we'll get part eight going, if anyone gives a shit. Um, anyway. Do they know what we're reading now? I said Pluto earlier, but no, they don't know. I don't. Normally, we don't say. <laughs> I don't yeah, think right. we'll, 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 we'll keep the surprise yeah. for our. But we are technically Pluto is the, Pluto one will be one of our book anime clubs we do. Um, they know what I'm reading now though, because I have to read Warhammer. I tell I in my videos I mention what's next, but uh, so do you have anything else you want to say about JoJo's that we haven't said? Um. No, I, I don't really think I could say anything okay. that we didn't like cover in the video. Fair enough. Go read it. All right? Go, Go read, read it. it. And watch our video first. Hopefully well, no, you should probably read it first. Our video is filled with spoilers, but you should really watch our video. Um, for real. Mm -hmm. Now, my number one just qualifies for a thing from 2023 because it came out, the first one of them came out on January 1st of this year, and that's Brandon Sanderson's Secret Projects, okay? These books go hard. Now, they're technically four separate books, but, you know, I lumped them all under the Secret Projects thing because I just wanted to get them in here. They're great books. I'm not going to go deep into them because I think eventually... Bangers! You haven't read them yet. Shut up. 
<laughs> I think if, when Nolan reads them, we're gonna do a video on this channel, so I won't go. I won't dive deep into them here. But uh, Tress of the Emerald Sea is objectively the best one, and I'll fight anyone who disagrees with me on that. So, do you guys have any uh, final any final things you want to say? Negative. Um. Read part seven. Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, watch Shin Kamen Rider. <laughs> Merry New Year. <coughs> no. Happy holidays. <laughs> yeah, happy holidays. I won't say Merry New Year. New Year's is a dumb holiday. Yeah, no Stupid. one gives a shit about New Year's. <laughs> um, I, I, I guess I do have... What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> New Year's, though. <laughs> I don't think I've ever celebrated New Year's. I've celebrated New Year's. Alright, so I do have one last thing I want to say. You know, uh, it, it, this is a nice little thing. I, I just want to thank the, the three viewers, you know? Thanks, guys, for watching Yo. the video, for sticking Damn. around this podcast, right? That be up. Hell yeah, man. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching the... <laughs> thanks for subscribing to the channel, because I think every video we put out, we get at least, like, two new subs, which is cool. That's pretty sick. And the worm video is still getting views, so thanks... Even though I'd rather not be known as the worm guy, we're I'll gonna be known as the worm guy. <laughs> Read worm guy. Yeah, I'd worm rather guy. be known for the fact that I've undertaken the task of reading every Warhammer 40k novel. I'd rather be known for that than I would for worm. But either way, I'll take the I'll take the appreciation for the. We're gonna be. The, 400 episodes deep in this podcast and i will still mention worm somehow well it'll be we may be mentioning it will be hey, ward see. yeah it'll be fucking ward <laughs> episode 400 is me con convulsing until i become the emperor <laughs> of mankind <laughs> because i've read so many warhammer books <laughs> i've read too many okay i see things in my dreams all right <laughs> it's 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 Practical. madness <laughs> Practical, theoretical. Theoretical. All right. With that, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and you guys, any any watchers, you know, check out uh, some of the other videos and have a happy holidays. Bye. Except New Year. Fuck New Year.